Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. Well, I'd like to uh, thank everyone who came to celebrate back to school at Chamber Cafe at M State earlier this week. We had a great crowd out there and it was fun to learn about everyone's mascots from where they went to high school or where they went to college and great speaker lineup. Hope you get a chance to uh, tune in and take a look at Chamber Cafe. Well, joining us on the show today will be Paul Hicks. He's the newest team member added to the Fergus Falls Chamber staff, but a lot of other connections in our community. So stay tuned. We're going to meet Paul Hicks. Add us to your back to school list with the installation of Park Region's Gigaspire router and downloading the My Safety Net app, putting you in the driver's seat of your home network data, devices, and security. Throughout the month of September, we are offering free installation of My Safety Net and Gigaspire router with a one-year contract. To learn more about Park Region's Gigaspire router and this great deal, call our office at 218-998-2000 to speak with a customer service representative. Call today as this $45 offer expires September 30th, 2022. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. Lisa Workman here, joining with the newest member of the Chamber staff, Paul Hicks, our new member services staff person. Paul, welcome to the team. No, thank you. Glad to have you as part of the Chamber team and yeah, people are going to be like, well, wait a minute. How far away did you recruit this guy from, right? Just a block. Yeah, <laughs> literally just a block away. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so uh, you and your wife, Amy, own Dandelion and Burdock. We've done our show in the shop. But tell us a little bit about that part of the, that part of your life. Yeah, we opened Dandelion and Burdock up. So, sort of, well, just gone two years now. And so it's men's and women's clothing. And we've gone through our transitions, trying to find out what people like and what people need in Fergus Falls. And so we've kind of got that down pat and we're just looking for different ways of being able to kind of help the community out while still um, keeping the business going. Yeah, absolutely. And so we welcome you to the team as helping out with member services. And I think what's great is that now we bring in the, the background of being a small business owner yourself and going from that concept to launch stage to adjusting product and yeah along the way and then you're trying to free up time it never seems like you have enough time but then that's for sure you, you can find it yeah so let's talk a little bit about a little more about the things that you guys carry at dandelion and burdock you know a lot of times people say geez there's there's no clothing shops in fergus falls but they ha that means they they haven't been downtown often enough no exactly yeah we we have a lot more sort of smart men's clothes when um, that transitioned, we did smart, find. Smart, okay, smart men's clothes. Let's talk, define that a little So, bit. I mean, like this jacket is a is one we carry. We do have two-piece suits also. Um, we have dress shoes. I mean, these are environmental dress shoes that we can get in. We have other ones, but these are actually made out of plastic bottles. Cool. And so we've got things like that with your, you know, dress shirts ranging in any sort of color. And then also kind of more fun, fun dress shirts too. And that's for the guys. And then the ladies, Amy tries to keep kind of an ever evolving, so trying to keep up on the styles and, and moving things out. And so we try to, she tries to order just one set in so then not everybody in Fergus shows up wearing the same thing. But if right. it sells well, she kind of then finds something similar but different. So it's sort of same vein, but yeah, you're not sort of, copying of having to worry about showing up in the same outfit which is nice too especially mm -hmm. for women because we're we i think women buy clothes a lot more frequently than men do yeah no and that's our, and sure. our styles change more frequently than men and it seems yeah we get a lot of guys come in because they need a shirt for that day whereas <laughs> sort of a lot of you know obviously a lot more ladies just pop in you know just to see what's new Right. And if there's anything there, be it for their husband or for themselves. Right. Whereas, yeah, guys, it's sort of in, pants, out. Yeah, you know. get what they need and, mm -hmm. and go. But you've got, like I said, you've got the dress shirt so that if you're looking, if you need a dress shirt for, um, you know, a special occasion, yeah. if you need a dress shirt for a job interview, if, if you, you know what I mean? Like, or if you need to just fill your closet with some nice dress shirts. Cause and that's, yeah, that's where we ended up having to evolve. I mean, with the pandemic hitting, it sort of, we thought we'd get a lot more youth shopping. And so we had a lot more kind of of your joggers, which we still do have. Um, but we were getting more kind of people going for their first job interview or, you know, kind of needing work shirts sure. or, you know, wedding shirts, things like that. 
And so that's kind of how we tail it, tail it that to the guys. And then the ladies, we kind of have, I mean, we have dresses for proms if you need that. Right. Um, and then, yeah, a lot, everything from kind of comfy loungewear to, you know, I mean, a few sort of dress sets that can be then split and worn in different ways. Right, and I think that's what's nice too is that it's it's a range of fashions and styles from, like you said, comfy to a little more dressy, both for the men and the women, plus yep. a wide variety of sizes too. So it's not yep. just like junior sizes, it's everything. Yep, we have sort of in the ladies, we kind of have anywhere from extra small to 3X and the same in the guys. I think we even have a few 4X shirts for guys, but like everything, Every brand seems to fit different. I mean, there's sure. one thing that I found out with owning a clothing store is like trying on. I used to think it was overrated. And now, <laughs> now I realize why why you'd spend hours waiting for your wife or your girlfriend <laughs> or spouse outside a changing room. It's because nothing fits the same. Right. All of those letters and numbers oh, yeah, hardly they, mean no, anything. No, not anymore, it seems. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you guys also carry... Um, some men's pants that have that secret ingredient in them mm. that makes them more comfortable. Let's talk a little bit about those. Yeah, it's so yeah, we carry the Liverpool brand for majority of our men's um, jeans and they, they're the jeans to the dress pants, they also do an eco line, um, which is very nice, but it has the spandex in it, <laughs> which I didn't realize you needed. <laughs> Till, till I kind of started having to wear them at the store. And it's like, yeah, you don't have to worry about your pants splitting. Yes. You know, they're a little bit more tailored, so they do kind of fit. They're not quite as, as sort of wide-legged as some guys like. But, I mean, it did seem like once you tried them, it's like, yeah, I can, I can pick things up off the floor and don't right. have to adjust my pants, you know, like <laughs> I used to have to. Very comfortable plant pants, but also still very... Uh, polished. Yeah. You know, you, you look yeah. put together. You you don't look like you're running around in your sweatpants. No, no, it's a little secret. Yeah, that I, I didn't realize why why those spandex in women's pants till I yeah tried a pair of men's pants with it on and realized yeah you've been hiding it from us all this time. We have, and now Dandelion and Burdock downtown Fergus Falls, guys, you can head up down there to get uh, some comfortable yet stylish pants like yep. you said and the dress clothes is something that people don't always need but one one of the fun things that i find down at dandelion and burdock is the the snarky shirts yes. i love the the different shirts or literally the cat's pajamas or the mm -hmm. pajamas like the slouchy pants with like kitty cats all over them or yeah the fun stuff like more that of those in too and then i know amy's searching for halloween t-shirts and then and the christmas t-shirts will come in you know, all those fun little kind of easy stocking stuffer t-shirts for sort of dads or moms yeah. or aunts, you know, sisters that you know are into, you know, something that you have to kind of get. So yeah, they're, they're coming in. We tried to rotate those around for different seasons and different yeah. events. Those super, super fun things. And then a couple other fun things that I like that you guys have are some of the uh, food items. I absolutely love the uh, shaker with where you'd pour the vodka in and it was like this yep. Bloody Mary mix right in mm -hmm. the jar. Oh my gosh, is that stuff good. So you guys carry a, a, a selection of food items. Let's talk a little bit about those. Yeah, we get like those uh, those sort of dehydrated shakers we'll get in kind of more around Christmas time again. It's sort of nifty gifty, but we do have a little bit of English food. Yeah, um, so tell us a little why. Maybe we can hear yeah. so the why. I, I'm originally <laughs> from England. My uh, family moved here many, many, many moons ago, it seems now. Um, but yeah, we moved here from England. Um, my father got a job in Wapton, but the owner lived um, on Swan Lake. And his, his story always was <laughs> that uh, he met a man who told him he could walk on water and he said he'd follow that man anywhere. <laughs> so he brought him to Fergus Falls in the winter. <laughs> um, but no, so we ended up in Fergus Falls from there and sort of you know, have seen when we moved here in the 90s, 96-ish, um, obviously Fergus had the mall, the mall was full, and so we've sort of had to had to witness sort of a little bit of the downgrade of Fergus, and so it's nice to see it actually upturning, right. and things kind of coming back and starting to, starting to happen again in Fergus. It's fun to see, and the... Again, with you growing up in England, now you've brought some of the taste of 
Yep. Great so we, Britain to Minnesota yeah. to Fergus Falls. No, we carry the pop for Dandelion and Burdock. The food is hard to get in because we have to get so much of it. Um, and so it's we, we always run the risk of it kind of going beyond its sell by date. But it's <laughs> I mean it's food, it's fine, you know. Crackers one of those and things, things like yeah. that. Right. Yeah. So I mean we always run that risk, but uh, yeah, we sort of put in an order for it sort of a couple times a year because we can like say we have to get so so much right. of it that it's hard to get rid of. But yeah, you um, mentioned the pop, dandelion mm -hmm. and burdock. That's where the name has come from. Yep, yep. We figured it was fitting for the area because um, it's dandelions and the thistles all over the area. And then we also thought it worked a dandelion for the girls, the burdock for the guys. So it kind of worked in that sense. And I mean, for anybody that's tried to think of a name for a business, you think <laughs> it's easy, but that was probably... Uh, the hardest thing I mean driving we'd be driving to the cities and I I think I still have a list on my phone of all of the names that we thought possible for the for the store and it's yeah I mean you'd just sit there and you'd type one in just so you wouldn't forget it and then right. you'd get home and it'd be like that well, no it's something else that's yeah. completely not the no. same okay. and then when once you do find it it is kind of that eureka moment of aha uh -huh, and then trying not to forget it again right right so for folks that haven't been to the store, what's the easiest way to find find Dandelion and Burdock? The best way to describe it is we're next door to Biffley's, or we're right across the road from the Center for the Arts. We're sure. in the middle block of Fergus Falls. I mean, hopefully you everybody came down and participated in the uh, block parties that we did in conjunction with the Late to Late. Um, and those were and, a lot of fun. Yeah, and that was a great way of sort of people being able to come downtown, because there's a lot of new businesses that have popped up in and around the area that uh, it's a nice way that you can kind of enjoy some music, you know, there's activities, we had activities for kids to do, and so people could kind of then wander and see what, what downtown has to offer, because it right. seems like every month there's something popping up open. Yep, definitely. A lot of great things going on downtown, and uh, so it, it, with this role now with the Chamber, you'll be out visiting with members and helping them to make some of those connections, and. Mm -hmm take advantage of their benefits of membership, whether they want to post a hot deal about maybe some awesome shoes that are on sale or different things like that, um, special no. events going on. Yeah, and it worked perfect for that. I mean, it keeps us on, on the pulse as a business owner. It keeps us on the forefront of knowing kind of what's going on. But then, like you stated earlier, as also as a business owner, it makes you kind of maybe a little more th sympathetic to want what sort of some of the businesses are needing because right. you know I mean I know our struggles may be different but we know the struggles are real yeah and that you know when you're running with small staff or even if you've got a lot of staff you know when something goes wrong it's nice to have help right you know? yep we provide that help and uh, we're happy to have you on the team and of course speaking of the team you uh, also in your you know another role are coach Soccer coach, too, so... Yeah, I help Ben Jurgens coach the girls' auto soccer team here. I've um, been doing that for way too long. I mean, I, they, <laughs> no, no gray hair when I started. Um, not that that caused it, but it doesn't <laughs> help it, I'm sure. But, no, it's a lot of fun. It's a short season, which is nice, but then it also means that you only have so much time right. to get to enjoy it. So, I mean, it's it's short and it's compact, and at the end, you're wishing it would just go on for one more <laughs> week and then one more week after that because you just kind of don't want to give it up and you don't want to stop seeing everybody. Right. Well, we yeah. certainly appreciate that commitment to Fergus Falls, whether it's as a business owner, you know, coaching high school girls soccer and again now welcoming you as part of the chamber team Paul we're had to, happy to have you on the team and no, it's good you know to be here. we look forward to you bringing your background and and uh, experience to you know visit with our members and help them make some connections in the community much like you've done no well thanks for having me thanks so much for having you being a guest on our show today and no you know if uh, folks are chamber members and they want to know how to be a guest on the show or would like to uh, tell their story connect with Paul. I'll yep. we'll get you scheduled and uh, we'll get you here right on for find it in Fergus Falls. Perfect. Alrighty. Well, we will take a short break and we will be back. The ultimate Wi-Fi experience is here with the Park Region My Safety Net app. Welcome home to My Safety Net. The My Safety Net app is designed to easily tailor a custom Wi-Fi experience. The MySafetyNet app is simple and intuitive. 
All features are accessible from the home dashboard. Easily create profiles for people, places, and things. Pause the internet. Set schedules. Run bandwidth tests. Get performance alerts and device statistics. Enhanced features allow you to filter content, prioritize devices and activities, get notified and keep track of web threats, intrusions, and blocked viruses. My Safety Net app, connect, control, and tailor the ultimate Wi-Fi experience. My Safety Net by Park Region. Call today. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. Well, again, thanks everyone for coming to Chamber Cafe. We've got a couple great Chamber events coming up yet this in the month of September. On uh, Thursday, September 29th, we're going to host a Lunch and Learn with Chamber Master on Internet Marketing. And this is a free Lunch and Learn for our Chamber members where you get to learn how to do some of the great features on the Chamber website. Be hands-on, lunch will be provided. Maybe we'll have bacon, maybe we'll have a wrap, maybe we'll have a bacon wrap. Gotta find out to uh, see what we're gonna do for that. And then later that day on September 29th, I'd like to invite you to a membership mixer at Fergus Brewing Company. We're not gonna have bacon, but we're gonna have bratwurst and we're gonna have beer. So I invite you to come to the member mixer at Fergus Brewing Company. September 29th, if you register by the early bird deadline, you'll get $10 in Fergus Bucks at the door when you arrive. So if you want to know more about the chamber, things going on in the community, job openings, all kinds of good information, check out our website at fergusfalls.com. I'm Lisa Workman. This has been Find It in Fergus Falls, and we'll see you again next week.